Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to show you a proven seven figure Shopify dropshipping store. So this store has in fact turned over $2.7 million, I believe. Um, I'm going to be showing you their website, um, their best selling product, as well as the Facebook ads they've been running to generate those sorts of sales as well. What's really interesting about this particular business is the majority of those sales have been produced through Q4. Obviously Q4 is about two and a half weeks away. So if you are looking for a particular product to sell, to go into to Q4 and capitalize on those sales for Christmas, um, Cyber Monday, and of course Black Friday, then this may be the video just for you. So with that being said then, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please do make sure you leave a like. Um, please do make sure you subscribe to see more of my content and of course any comments questions video suggestions whatever it is just leave them down below i do read every single one so i will see um, your questions and comments there that being said thanks again for tuning in hope you enjoy it and let's jump straight into it so the store in question is called pet boutique co um, it is a pet store a dog store to be specific before we jump into the numbers and just some very quick background information it is a drop shipping business um, that works with a direct supplier that ships directly to their customers. I suspect some form of an agent. Um, it's fully automated, so they say, um, which I'm not sure how that can be true if they're running Facebook ads and things like that, unless they're paying an agency to do that. They have two VAs, which they got from Upwork, which handle all of their customer service for them. Traffic is driven primarily from Facebook and Instagram paid ads. So typically the business model that everybody speaks about on YouTube, which is a Shopify dropshipping store, um, and then Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Google ads um, to generate the traffic. Three to 4% conversion rate, which is very good. Um, and now then let's move into the interesting part, the part everybody wants to see, which is the number. So on average, about 200K per month, which is obviously very solid, very good. These numbers numbers are verified by Shopify too. So revenue data comes directly from Shopify and cannot be edited by the sales. There's no trickery, nothing like this going on here. And as I mentioned in the intro, if we have a look at the sales for Q4, so 90K in September, which is okay, but then it drastically um, scales very quickly. Start of Q4, October straight up to 330, September almost doubles. Um, and then in December, they fall just short. Um, of 820,000 all in one month. After Q4, then we can see that the sales drop off quite um, drastically all the way down to averaging about 80K per month, which again is a very solid business considering I think somewhere they said about five hours per week to maintain. So that's not bad. 80K a month for five hours per week, most people will probably take that. So it just goes to show if you do things well and have the right product, the right store and marketing campaign, then you can make some very significant money with dropship. And that really is the beauty of dropshipping with it being a purely online run business. A lot of it is outsourceable. You can make money very quickly if you do those three core elements correctly, which is a professional and trustworthy Shopify store, um, a good marketing campaign, and of course, a good product as well. That being said then guys, let's have a look at their website which is quite interesting if we use our Shopify inspector we can see they're using the debut theme so the debut theme is a 100% free theme it gets a lot of kind of negativity and bad press because it doesn't look very good but these guys have done 2.7 million dollars using a free theme so it just goes to show you do not need it's not 100 necessary to invest in a paid theme they have a very basic logo they probably paid no more than 20 dollars for that off of fiverr if we take a look at their best-selling products we can see the top two are the deep sleep calming bed and then the deep sleep calming blanket so this is where i believe the majority of their sales will have come from if we take a quick look at their product pages then i don't need to spend too much time on this obviously you guys can see the url you guys can find this store in the exchange marketplace and go and kind of peruse it in your own time but the kind of point i want to put across then is that the store is nothing special what the reason it's so successful is because they do all the basics correctly there's no punctuation mistakes everything is like capitalized the first letter of each word they've got nice original images high quality no chinese branding they've obviously put a lot of thought and time into the product description so introducing the original deep sleep calm in bed with the tm they've put a trademark there as if to say it's kind of a unique product to them um, one of the highest quality pet beds ever produced it kind of gives it that feel of this is the original product so even if they see this product elsewhere this is the original these guys make the original even though the chances are they're probably just sourcing it from the very same factory um, as everybody else crafted with premium nylon fabric 
um, and finished with a luxurious faux fur exterior. I assume the bed is designed to mimic the cozy comfort of a mother's and so on and so forth. So as you can see, they've put a lot of time and thought into this. It's not just a simplistic copy and paste product description from AliExpress. At the bottom of the product page, they have looks reviews. Um, my favorite review app, I use this on all of my stores, in fact, just because of the way and how easy it integrates into pretty much any theme and doesn't look out of place. What I really like about it as well is the image reviews too. Image reviews are proven to convert better than just text alone. So I highly suggest in investing in an image review app. And um, they have 176 reviews, which is five star overall. Now to me that looks a bit suspect, but at the end of the day at 2.7 million turnover, um, you can't argue with them. The reviews are obviously very good too. So really high quality images with some cute dogs just displaying using the product, how much they love the product. The reviews are extensive as well. So not just one or two words are not written in Russian or some foreign language that your customers won't understand everything just looks prim and proper and overall just a very good store which obviously reflects um, the kind of results these guys have been able to produce that being said then if we jump into the Facebook ads library so this is the pet boutique Facebook ads library these are all the ads they've currently are uh, currently running sorry I can't talk um, but before you have a look at some of their creatives first of all I just want to point your attention to how many likes how many followers they have on Facebook and Instagram because 2.7 million dollars just goes to show you haven't got to have 2.7 million followers in order to produce that they have 1300 likes on Facebook and they have 15,000 on Instagram so if we take a look at some of the ad creatives then we can see there's 68 results so this is on all platforms um, across the whole of the world as well this isn't just UK so this is all ads just to kind of flick through so you can see all the different kind of ad creatives it's not just the same one this is something you need to test extensively and the results will prove themselves to you as you can see they're selling the same products in every single ad but every single one is a different creative whether it's the actual visual part or the actual description itself they're all different and that is kind of like one of the key things that you'll see any successful e-commerce business do is they won't just keep advertising their products in the same way with the same creatives the same text if you want to get to those big numbers you need to experiment with different creatives because there will come a point where people have seen the same creative four five six seven eight nine ten times and if somebody's seen it that many times, they just switch off to it and they won't even notice it next time they scroll past it. So test lots of different creatives. They have image ads of cute dogs, which are obviously gonna gather attention. They have different video ads. And just flicking through these now, I don't think there's a single one with the same description either. I think there may be one or two. So it just goes to show the more you test, the more experiment, and the more likely you are to come across that kind of sweet spot and that sweet kind of um, visual and descriptive kind of combination that produce those really good results. What I want to do though, so I just want to highlight kind of like the key points, the key things that I like about what they do that you guys can then go and implement into your own ads as well. So if we scroll right to the bottom, these should be the earliest ads um, in terms of when they were first published and started running. So this started running on May 13th. These guys wouldn't keep this particular ad running all that time um, if it wasn't profitable. So if we take a look at this video ad, first of all, the thumbnail has a blue border to kind of capture your customer's attention dog's favorite calm in bed with an arrow pointing to a cute dog um, lying on the bed so let's just take a quick look at this they have some really calm and soothing music um, and then by the looks of things just different clips of cute dogs lying in the very products that they sell so it's great social proof it's great advertisement and it's a great demonstration of how good the product is everybody wants to see their dog um, in a safe sound environment and by kind of capturing this on video it makes customers kind of envision envisage if that's even a word their own dog doing the same thing so it's a perfect video ad and then across the bottom um, in that kind of Instagram highlighted text different key points and features um, and benefits of the product so just a textbook video ad um, and again it just speaks for itself by the kind of results these guys have produced just to kind of highlight a couple of other things in, in which you might notice as well across all of the ads they use. Um, for number one, their use of emojis. The dog niche is obviously quite a warm and joyful niche. Um, and emojis are kind of in keeping with this feel and theme. They also have some ads which start with reviews from their customers. So this one goes straight into Maddie loves her new bed. She was suspicious at first, slowly warmed up and now is often um, napping in a new bed by Jennifer C. 
Um, so that's a great way to kind of capture your customer's attention immediately instead of talking about the product itself, but to actually quote um, an existing customer. There's no better way to sell your product um, than past customers who have already bought it and been happy with it. Again, it comes back to that whole trustworthiness. The number one kind of obstacle you'll have to overcome as a new business that nobody's ever seen or come across before um, is getting people to trust you and reviews is a great way to do that. Now, I could go on and on and on for hours. I could probably write a book about different Facebook ad techniques, etc. But hopefully I've shown you enough in this video um, for you to learn something new, um, to give you some ideas to move forwards and actually capitalize on Q4. Um, so I'm going to wrap the video up there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you um, enjoyed it. If you did, please do make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more of my content, please do make sure you subscribe as well. Any comments or questions about anything, video suggestions, etc., just post them down below. And finally, before you go, if you are looking for a Shopify dropshipping course, not just dropshipping, in fact, e-commerce as a general, it will teach you how to source products in bulk as well. Um, I do have a course called the Ecom Academy. There's over 100 videos included. You do get my full support and guidance as well by email. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, for more information, just check out the link links in the video description below. With that being said, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.